Welcome to Half That. This is episode 13. 13. With my boy Serge. My, my name Nice. You already know me, your auntie's favorite lover. We got a special guest. Who we got? Who we got, Serge? Man. Go ahead. Castro, bro. Come on. Welcome to Castro to the stage. Welcome to Half That. What's up, Our my brother? Second guest. Second guest. Second guest. Special guest. Special guest. Salute. Salute, brother. Let, let them know where you're from, bro. Uh, I'm from North Fair Oaks, unincorporated railroad city. <laughs> North Fair Oaks. And for any of, the, of those of you who know, don't know what unincorporated means, it just basically means that Menlo Park and Railroad City didn't know what to do with that area. Oh. So they just left it alone. Oh, somehow. Shit. Boy, and that's what it is. Boy got political real fast. Nah, nah he did. Nah, 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 that's just where I'm from, man. Boy got real political fast. <laughs> we about to get on y'all. Yo, hey, that's just. That's I didn't just even the, know that. That's, that's just a flower. I'm going to give you the whole mix right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. But I'm from River City, though, North Fair Oaks. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, grew up there. Uh, originally from Antioch. I was born in Pittsburgh. Okay. In, in 91. Nice. And my, you know my Pittsburgh mom phone, and man. my man, my pops was on the road, and they just said, "Damn, it's time!" Mm. Boom, Pittsburgh. <laughs> oh yeah, I grew up in Antioch, though. I moved to Rebel City in '96, and uh, you know I've been okay. been thugging ever since. Ah, been thugging yeah. even out here. <laughs> he said the street, the street star was him, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, yeah, man. Yes. It's, yeah. it's good to have you on here, man. Right on. Welcome to the right show, on. bro. Yeah, Half that. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. No Thank problem, you, bro. brothers. Course, you know, course, for allowing course, me to be on here and share the stage with y'all. This is um, dope pattern. Right both of y'all for you know making this happen and you know achieving, manifesting, and prospering the best for both of y'all, bro. Boy, he coming so, with the vibes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, you too, man. Shout out, cameraman. Hey. Shit, man. Last time, man, I knew I knew the Lakers were gonna win. You knew the Lakers, knew the Lakers were gonna, gonna win. win. For real? I, I told you. Nah. Hey, but the game before nah. that, everyone questioning what's homeboy's name that took that shot? Jimmy Butler. No, no, no. Uh, Danny Green. There you go. Everyone on him. Nah. <laughs> oh, that was a what he was wide time open. Time out, time Cause when LeBron lost to the Spurs back in I don't know what year that was, he lost to the Spurs. It was because Danny Green hit that corner shot. Nigga, Danny Green hit that shot on him before. So now he was like, nigga, I want Danny Green on my team. Now that he got Danny Green on, on his team, just, this nigga just dropped the ball, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my thing was this, bro. He had three guys on him. And everybody. I'm down, bro. All right, I'm cool, cool. Appreciate it. Biggest, and everybody was just high. like. Niggas get high on my shit, nigga. Fuck this nigga pissed. Surge, bro. Cheers, baby. This nigga don't, 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 right don't smoke. I, I, no, I do. Oh, now not, you do. Not, now now you do. Now not you do. Not on this. Not on this. Not on duty. In that case. Not on duty. Nah. Not on duty. All right, but go ahead. With uh, but yeah, like, everybody get on LeBron. He had three people on him, and then he just dump it off to Danny. It was, why would you do that? Like, that's the I would do that. You would pass the ball. I would You wouldn't have passed the ball? I said I would. Oh, yeah. that's what I'm saying. You would have passed the ball. You wouldn't even dribble to the hole. You would have just like... Nigga? Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> nah, I play. That's oh, how we balling, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> so you catch the ball, look at me, and throw the ball to me. Nah, like, I Devin be traveling every time we play, though. This yeah. always saying I'm traveling. Play. You play ball? Man, come on, man. Remember 7th and Avenue oh, when y'all used to pull up? We used to yeah. always play. We did. You used to always play yeah, ball at 2nd right. Avenue. All the time, man. 2nd Avenue right. was pretty dope. The only time I hated it was when I broke my ankles sometimes, or when some people broke my ankles. I yeah, broke man. his ankles. Don't, don't be afraid, bro. <laughs> I was snatching ankles, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, man. I was missing <laughs> one time, but not one and a half. <laughs> one time. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> some, not one and a half. There's some good times there. Yeah, I've had a lot of good times there. Definitely. Dude, we played till... The lights went out at 10.30, we played till 11, man. That shit oh, was, yeah, definitely. We that all, was crazy, man. We used to play like time. like a game and a half in the dark, just to like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, nah, nah, one more, one more. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I remember those, those were the knees, when the knees were hella good, you know? Pause. Now I'm probably 30 <laughs> and bam, it's bad. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Nigga said the knees were hella strong and you're about to be 30 and bam. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. shit, man. It's a 6-1 it's, it's problem. Nah. Oh, Did you know? Oh, nah. oh, shit. Are you there? <laughs> That's... I ain't oh, got that problem, man. I'm fucking five five. I just, I be chilling. Yeah, I'm, I close, got, I'm close to the ground and shit. I'm just high challenge. That's See? all. Yeah. I'm just. See high now challenge. you. Oh, now you high challenge. Well, when it comes to taller niggas, than me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm high challenge, nigga. Oh, but when when it comes to niggas like you, oh, I'm, nigga, bro, you just, I'm you healthy. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, I'm normal size when it comes to me. Like, That's fucked up. Like, oh, you need help getting right off the man. top of the shelf. Hey, bro, I'm just saying, I barely get injured unless I'm like my my ankles. My ankles, I always broke. Cause it's like. 
Mm-hmm. You like a car with like low suspension, like you low to the <laughs> ground, but like you ain't, you ain't really, you ain't going nowhere too fast, and like you ain't jumping too high, like you ain't oh, about man. to do it. I, yeah. I'm gonna know if I'm durable, man. Shit, said I'm durable. <laughs> I ain't fire stomp. <laughs> yeah, 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 shit. 300,000 miles right now. Yeah, I'm still that's, going. That's crazy, man. You guys climbing, bro. <laughs> nah, but second half, bro. Second yeah. half. Yeah. Don't you got like a mural like that's that's like next to second half? Very, like, very close. Very down, close. Down the block. It's on the corner of Second Avenue, Millfield Road. And if you ask me, it's exactly five and a half point three percent to the nah, oh, block. Oh, I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm like, what? He about to get. Nah, it's okay. like, it's right on that street, but it's like five blocks down. Like, if you literally drive down, not even like 30 seconds. Okay. That's what's up. Um, That's what's it's up. right there, bro. That's Big cool. old mural right on Second Avenue for the road, um, representing the history of that community mm-hmm. and of North for us. You know, back to the uh, native, native times. You know, with the Ohlone tribe that was actually there in the actual location, like 1800s, maybe before that, right? You okay. Know, the, you know, with all of us knowing what history and you know, it was yeah, all that's, the that's, indigenous people out here, bro. So that's like, everything. So what people don't know is. Cash was an artist. That's that's his. Go ahead. He's, he's an artist. Yeah. So introduce that. You know? My fault. My fault. Go ahead. Yeah. So I. Gotcha. We know you. I mean, we, <laughs> we know you an artist. So I mean, we you know. know. Explain to you like, explain to them like, what made you fall in love with art? Like, what made you like art so much? Yeah, definitely. So I just put put it back. You know, do a little quick backstory. So I started doing art when I was in second grade. Right, doing little cards to mom, Dukes, or you know, Valentine's Day, Christmas, because you know, growing up. And my family, uh, very Catholic, right? My grandma was very, very religious. Mm. Like, she's a person in back in my hometown in Mexico, Tepatitlan, Jalisco. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? <laughs> that's, that's, my mom, that's my mom's home. I, my, basically, my hometown where my grandma lived, actually still lives, and most of the, my mom's side of the family lives. Whoa. And growing up, I never was with my pop, so I would go to my mom's side, you know? So what was that? What was that? <laughs> what was that back? It's called, it's called Tepatitlan. The Batik Lan. Hey, bro. No, no, no. Pretend you're saying Mexican bread, dog. Hey, don't be whooping like he don't know any Spanish. I know, but you're Devin knows Spanish, dog. Yo. I'm a Latino kid. I'm dating you. You're going to tell me some bullshit. Come on, dog. Devin knows Spanish. 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 Devin knows <laughs> nah, but go dog. ahead. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. but Epa te la, what? <laughs> so we, uh, the the shorter version is Tepa and Jalisco, uh, and uh, and uh, so anyway, so I was getting back to my point where uh, before I was really interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, <laughs> hey, so you know, you, um, growing up, <laughs> <laughs> grandma's hella religious. Mom followed in her path, you know. Tried to. We didn't do the whole church on Sunday as much as my grandma did. When my grandma's around every Sunday. Yo. I personally have my own spiritual beliefs with religion. And my mm-hmm. beliefs, you know, I am a believer of God in, in my word. I know others might believe in the universe, universe, excuse me, or, you know, the systematic play. I mean, there's just so many ways you can visit your life. I think it's great to share those, like, I know, bro, I'm getting too deep for you, huh? Uh, nah, nah. Hey. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were talking about grandma's and stuff. Nah, 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 nah. nah yeah, but I was just establishing that my grandma was hella yeah. religious. So That's growing weird. up, like, we had those, you know, entitlements to Christmas. Valentine's yeah. Day, and that's how I started with noticing that importance in my family, in my in my heritage, in my roots with my grandma, you know, because we're going to take it from the OGs anytime For we real. can. You're going to soak you know, it up. You're going to soak it up. We're going to soak it up, gonna soak it up. exactly. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, so those cars started playing up, and in my high school years, you know, growing up, like, or excuse me, my, my middle school, like, third grade and all that, um, I was introduced to a new dad. I had a stepfather, you know, so okay. like I had to take on this new life, new way of thinking. Like, oh shit, where's my dad? Like, oh, I was a kid, and I was a really like disturbed kid, bro. Growing up, mm-hmm. I, I feel like I needed fucking to be on those ADD pills or whatever because my mind would race. And, and my my like I'm still you know I'm a Libra and shit. I don't know if you guys know horoscopes and you know we tend to be some of the sensitive in the in, out there. Damn, yeah, I'm a Libra too. Why you look at me like that though? Because I'm like I. Go ahead. Anyway, I know. <laughs> hey, Devin's like, hey, well, Devin's like, what? What are you doing? Like Capricorn or some bullshit? I mean, if you know that, go ahead. <laughs> I guess I'm a Capricorn. See, he, knows it, he knows the sign. He knows the sign. He's just lying. I'm, bro, hey, I'm a Capricorn. Girls into that shit. So I'm, I'm a Capricorn. Capricorn. Yeah, so, Capricorn. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. I get money, you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I mean, nah, nigga. he knows what it means. <laughs> hey, hey, that's you know what? That means. Hey, Devin probably knows like the rising moons and the down stars. I don't know what that's that why is. I was like, no disrespect bro, to anybody bro, like that. Shit. Time, time out, time out. That's why like every time he like 
go into a different, not like a different subject, but like where he just like veer off and, and like to a different vibe of the conversation. I'm like, I right, let's go there. But what you was talking about, I was there too. So I don't want to be rude and just be like, yeah, I'm with the spirits and the stars and the moons and shit. But we was talking about your grandmother from Mexico. So I was trying to, and, you know, be focused on that and not be rude to that. But like back to what you were saying when you was three years old and you got a new dad, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I'm there, I'm with you, cuz. You really did, <laughs> hey, he's right there. Yeah. Damn, bro. I'm paying attention, go ahead, though. This is good shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so, all right, I'm gonna, I'll try to keep brief. I'm, I'm going on some tangents, yeah, it might be, cause, it might be cause, the Gucci. Cause, cause, cause it's like, when did you fall in love with art? Yeah, no, no, so, like, like what I was, was that, like, damn, like. Yeah, it was third grade, like literally right after this little that era, stage and era I mm -hmm. told y'all about right now. It was in third grade. I fell in love with Pokemon and shit, like just drawing that shit. And then um, when it came to sixth grade, hold up, what was your favorite Pokemon? Um, bro, um, honestly, I would want to say like some weak ass shit like Pikachu because Pikachu, everyone's get everyone's the fuck out. No, no, hold on, I'm gonna say Scyther though, Scyther, oh, Scyther, bro. Scyther. Hey, bro, come on, the Scyther. little red dude that came out after. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Scyther. Scyther. Hey, <laughs> Scyther was dope. <laughs> <laughs> he said Scyther. Hey, then with you tangle or some shit? Wow. <laughs> Very funny, nigga. Hey, nah. hey. You the most gangsterous one, nigga. Bulbasaur, nigga. I, I respect Bulbasaur. You said Charmander. I was Squirtle, too. Nah, Stop I wasn't about to say. I, was say I, I fuck with Squirtle. Squirtle's my favorite. Squirtle, uh, Squirtle was cool. But Charmander's overrated. Everybody picked Charmander. Oh, yeah, he's my favorite. Because yeah, well, he turned into Charizard. Yeah. But yeah, fuck all that. <laughs> <laughs> Back to what you were saying, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, it was all that, like third grade, starting it. You know, my friends loved it. I was to draw a little shit. And then sixth grade came, bruh. And I got introduced to Dragon Ball Z, bruh. And from Ooh. watching that shit in Spanish and English and copying, I mean, I used to get notebooks like the seven nine cent ones at Target. Yeah. And I would fill that motherfucker up. I would print out hella pictures on Google and I would just copy them, not trace Whoa. them. Copy them, bro. He said, not trace them. Nah, let me just say them. because they show my ass. <laughs> the minis? Bro, <laughs> my ass would trace them. I'm not artistic at all. <laughs> I'll be drawing stick figures still. So I'll be playing, bro. And I swear to God, I remember that it was like yesterday. I literally was about to draw it or trace it. When I wanted to draw it the first time. Really? <clears throat> I swear to God. That's crazy. And I said, fuck this, I'm going to draw it. And after that, that shit took off. Like everyone knew me, like a little kid, you know, I was sort of getting creative on like class mm. things at fourth grade. I mean, whatever you call it, right? Sixth grade, Dragon Ball Z came, started copying. That's where I got in touch with anatomy, mm. facial mm. expressions, oh, okay. skin Ooh, nice. tones, okay. Okay. ways nice. of the body. And I was lucky enough to admire shit like fucking Cell or Boo who did mm. all these, like they had very complex, like, you know, characteristics and, 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 yeah, and really super complex. moves and all yeah, that. It was. Yeah. Dope to see Majin Buu go bodies. from this to this yeah. and blah blah up, and then Cell was just like a big ass robot where we appreciate mm. Iron Man kind of thing, you know? Yeah, like yeah. that was <clears> anyway. So that's a good way to <laughs> Damn, bro, that's and that's just all my childhood, <laughs> right? So then I'm gonna just top it off right here. After on high, in high school and and asking my grandma where I'm from, learning Chicano heritage, like where my family come come from and what they did, what my grandpa's job, what my great grandpa's job was, and like how far we know back into our roots, yeah. you know? And it wasn't until that got introduced to Chicano culture, right? Mm -hmm. Low riding, yeah. right? We, I built my own low rider bike with my cousin at the age of like eight or nine. We did it from scratch. The okay. bar, the, those screws, little balls in the middle where the pedals are. Pause. Yeah. Go ahead. Why are you going there? <laughs> nah, I, just, I just heard, I'm, I'm on to, I'm just hearing what yeah, you're yeah, saying. Yeah, I'm yeah, focusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah for but sure. You, for building your bike, you got the little balls in the middle. <laughs> Did you say balls or bars? I said balls. It's because like balls. Some little balls. My other ride bikes are punk. Nah, but go ahead. Nah, nah. Anyway, so like you know, Chicano culture, right? Back to the like, I remember seeing Lowrider Art. Do you remember the Lowrider magazines? Yeah. That back then they used to have Lowrider Arte, and it was hella fucking Mexican art from all over the world mm -hmm. that Lowrider, they would submit to Lowrider. Mm -hmm. And this is back then before social media, so you have to mail your artwork again. Mm -hmm. I mailed my shit in like five times, I never got picked, but brother, we're talking about OGs from like jail back in the time. Yeah. This is all they saw. You know, yeah. all that, right? So, so they would get the big pieces and those I would like admire, so I started copying those. So time on, time on, time on. And like, so you submit how many times? I was what? How many times did you submit your artwork? Oh, like five times. You was trash back then. Yeah. 
Hey, no. Hey, for real though. I mean, you had one eye right here and one eye over here, like Picasso. I could like, only say hey, that man, he, I could only though. say he was trash back then because this nah, nigga nah, is good. wet right now. Pause. I appreciate it, bro. Pause. Pause. Yeah, like his his drawing, his I artwork. Said that. His 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 artwork right now is like off the chain. I like people, that, yeah, cool. like Kinda cities like, yeah, call good. this dude like to do art murals on their wall. Like, yeah, that's, cool. me, like I mean, that's what I want to ask you. How did you get to that? Like, how did, did yeah. the city reach out or did you reach out to them like, yo, like I see this wall. Well, I was, I was lucky enough to know, like, you know, have a friend mm -hmm. like in, in the whole mixture, right? Mm -hmm. Where she contacted me and like, was like, hey, like they're planning to make a mural on this wall. She made your work. And you know, thank, thankfully, you know, that shout out to her, um, made it happen. But that was a little increase on that, but right? I didn't get chosen because of her, or you know, yeah. like I got mm -hmm. let the opportunity, and I went up against mm -hmm. 50 artists to do that NFL oh, mural shit. that I have right For now. Real? And then, yeah. and then I went down yeah. to the top five, and I got chosen. But it's only because at those meetings, mm -hmm. like I would post my shit, and hella mm -hmm. people supported. Right. Like from uh, my family, okay. my moms went up there, and I, you know, the guy that, and, um, one of the guys whatever that was there, he was like, oh, this little, you know, about his about his mom and shit. Mm -hmm. But it was like. Bro, if I, there was gonna there was gonna be a mural in my neighborhood in my backyard. Why wouldn't it be somebody from that neighborhood? That's what I'm talking about. Like yeah. everybody else didn't live three blocks away. Right. Like yeah, I literally yeah, lived three yeah. blocks like, away. That's some. That's yeah. That's, so that's, I was that's like, that's dude, inspiration, motivation to like yeah. the kids, like somebody from, from this, this neighborhood. From this city. Then this. And that's yeah, what yeah. every kid and every person gets from it. And it's because I've been through that stereotype. I've been through that progress yeah. of that improvement of my neighborhood. You know, every fucking realm, every neighborhood mm -hmm. has a different way of living, and everyone has to respect that. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. That nah, you can't that's... just talk about politics, Democrat, Republican. Nah, fuck around being the hood. Like fuck around and be a, like a mm -hmm. very distinguished, like unfortunate uh, situation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not area, situation. You know, right. everything builds up from where you come from. Like. Your product you know, of your environment. Basically. I, I'm glad that I didn't. Be, if I if it wasn't for like doing some dumb shit and like learning the street smart, mm -hmm. bro, I tell you right now, I'd rather be street smart than book smart. You were talking about, you know, you're, you're in the top five. So yeah. what did you have to do to like win it? You yeah. So I mean? it was like a basically any a, like a printout kind of application you could do online, right? Mm -hmm. And in that line, it said, okay, put fit your art on here, and it was like. I want to say maybe like a five by six, like a photo thing, you know, mm -hmm. a little, little <clears throat> and you had to tr put your art there and paint it. And I originally had put a Virgin Mary instead of a rose. Mm -hmm. Right. So then I'll tell you all right now what happened because of that. And I had like this, uh, the same concept I had, right? The city over here, mm -hmm. the native stuff over here, rose in the center, Papel Picado top. Papel Picado is like mixing, you know, folk art, kind of like, you know, cutouts and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and what's it called? The... Uh, yeah, so when I got to the first meeting where I became like top five or whatever, I think it went from 20 to fifth to five actually, but either way, okay. I'll jump over to being the last one, right? I had to, so my last one once I got approved, I had to redo it and I had to do a longer, like, I had to actually, like, I got a bigger cutout, like, the, what the wall was gonna be like, right? right. So I could just <clears throat> enlarge it. And that's why I did the whole North Furrows. I got it all actually on my phone if you guys yeah, want to look. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, a little know, later. See, but yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and so so okay so I had man I remember this being this big ass piece of art but y'all know me in high school how I just drew and colored the tongue boy stuff and yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, graffiti yeah. like I was used to big pieces like right. I loved it I was yeah. like okay fuck it I'm gonna get down and I did that North Frost exactly how you see it right there just like not as you know graphically and everything but. Once I got it down, colored it in, they accepted it, bro, right there. And mm -hmm. it came to win, and that was crazy. Yeah, 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 and it was crazy because the other artists that uh, <clears throat> sent in, you know, submissions, they were dope, you know? Mm -hmm. But they just weren't, I feel like, the, like that, what we were right there. Right, you know? so they made you change it from uh, the Virgin Mary to the Rose? Yes, and it was because it was a federally funded mural where they cannot accept any religions. Oh, uh, see, like oh shit. Like that. Yeah, see, yeah. yeah. So, so you had, no, like, it was but like trust some, me, some I, hurdles mark, in, mark, involved with that. Yeah, mark my, oh, bro, I'm going to get to that. Mark my words out, there's going to be a Virgin Mary North Frost very soon. I'm already in touch with some of the mechanics there. Mm -hmm. On the roads, either when you uh, drive north yeah, or south, yeah. I'm putting a fucking oh, Virgin so Mary Oh, so do, you can't do it because Put some acid shit. Funded, like, yeah, that's what we need in that motherfucking neighborhood, dog. Like, we need to get these motherfucking youngsters back into the roots. Like that's right. what inspires them. All right, fuck it. Mm -hmm. No talks, no nothing. Nothing wants to inspire you. I know exactly what's gonna inspire you. Why? Cause I saw it inspire me. Right. Motherfucker, young brown, young, you know, black, go to a fucking mural. They see Malcolm X, or see 
um, Joaquin Julieta, like a fucking Aztec soldier. You yeah. think what I'm saying? Whatever you want to call it, right. that inspires them, bro. That's what gets you the image, the, the the like it questions you because you know where you're from. Right. Yeah. Nah, you want to ask true. that question it's, it's eventually right. in your life, though. Right. Eventually yeah. in your yeah. life. Nah. You ain't changing your lives. I mean, whatever it is, <laughs> may be, brother. Like, I'm just trying to practice. Like you said, you eventually know. in life, because I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Like, growing up, I was like, whatever. You know, like, I don't really, like, as a kid, I was just like, all right, I'm, you know, Mexican Salvadoran, you know. Mm. And then as you grow eventually, like, yo, I'm actually kind of proud of, like, yeah. what I am, you know, like, oh shit, mm. like, you know. And you what think every. You're black or you, yeah. think you're, you, you know, start this, to identify. You, you're you like, are. no, fuck that. Like, <clears throat> let me, let me look people. into Malcolm X. Like, let mm. me look into, you know, whatever. And it's. And that's just that's just like our way the way I think of it. That's just from being American. We were mm -hmm. born here. We have to accept the the you know. American words, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. technically in California, still be Mexico, <laughs> but we can't. We don't have to get into all that. <laughs> but it's okay. I, I'm proud of being American. You know, I don't mind anything with the American flag. It's cool. I'm American. I accept it, bro. But at the same time, I demand my fucking rights and justices just as anybody else, cause no matter what color of skin. Okay. And that's a fucked up shit. So then, with that said, now leading to areas where we we're talking about, right? Yeah. We're not a contribution. Like we're not the we're not the first thought. Yeah. You know, but it's only because no. it's a money world and everything from donors like, bro, the reason those private schools are out there is because they all get funds from these rich ass parents. Hold on. Hold Think hold about hold it. Hold like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I know. Where, 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 going? Going? where we going? Where we going? Where we going? Where we going? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a political podcast. <laughs> this like, is not a political podcast. <laughs> we let you drive the car and like... We like because hey, okay. We saw we, we, we at the mill. city hall. Hey. We at city hall right now. Like I, we let you drive the car, and it's like all right. We at city hall. Hey, but like I wanted to get like to that point. You feel me? Like I'm gonna just you know try to try to ride the wave. Pause. You gonna so, ride something? Pause. We ain't, pause. Man. Relax. Bro, you I, relax. I've never heard you say that. You all right, but I'm just I'm just saying That's like right, so I do now. follow you on Devin's Instagram, riding some and shit. I do see you are like. A big fi figure in like the protest movement that's in out in Redwood City. So how is that orchestrating that with the whole community? Like, what's up with that? That's good, bro. Like, I make sure that we make a stand when we, I make sure I need I make a stand mm -hmm. when I need to make a stand because in our community we're very affected by all that, right? right. It's a fucking it's a we're on a it's a stigma like where we're at, right? Mm -hmm. So okay, fine. We need I I'm trying to figure out ways to work around it at the importance of it, especially in a society where we're like all telephone, mm -hmm. whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. But it's going good, bro. To answer your question though, strategically, like I'm really making moves, <clears throat> living my life day by day. You know, I got mm -hmm. my nine to five just like anyone else. Yeah. Right. My arts, my craft, my second job. That's my second job, right? Mm -hmm. So I fucking I'm always just I do if I don't if I don't if I'm not working here, I'm doing something here. I and it sucks because it's tw it's twenty four seven pop. Not and to you, cut you like, off, oh, not yeah, to yeah. cut you off, but I do see you do stand with the uh, the BLM movement because within, oh, within, hey, within your moral, hey grassroots BLM, grassroots BLM, because hold on, within your within your moral, I do see that uh, the fist. Oh yeah, yeah. So I do I do want to say shout out to that. So hey, and you be and you be surprised you be surprised how <laughs> county and go to <laughs> answer one of the questions you said about this. Let's talk about the mural, right? Yeah. Like it was so difficult, like working with the situation and getting approved half of the icons and the, mm. the, the props, whatever mm -hmm. it may be on there. Propaganda. But it was mm. also my first time dealing with contracts. Mm. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. We're dealing with the city. We're dealing with federal government right, right. now. You mm. dig what I'm saying? That must something, have been a bitch. And I ain't going to lie to you, man. Something I learned on taxes, too. Like, I thought I had it right doing a whole turbo tax, but y'all need to go in and see where your money's coming from. Okay, tap in with a, a tax agent. <laughs> hey, bro, on some Get real that shit, money you could back. be getting some money, man. Get that money back, Just, just know an accountant and hey, shit. Hey, all you need to do is go go uh, sign up as, if you want to start your business, go sign up as an SOESP, whatever, downtown county, and get your business established. Let's go. It's going to SOP. S-E or S-P, something LLC. Like that. That too, if yeah, you want. Yeah, but it's better to do it the right yeah. way and just go. Anyway, man, that's a whole day. Anyways, right. so back to those logos and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. The power to the pe power to the people fist yeah. on my mural and like the the Cesar Chavez flag. It was very difficult to get those up because that Cesar Chavez flag is unfortunately, you know, like uh, it was inherited. Related it, to it's inherited. You know, they inherited back back yeah. in the day. You know, mm -hmm. and. Um, like I have no problem, but like it just sucks that like it becomes a problem f for the community, right? Mm, and yeah. then, you know the the stigma, the, the figure, and the character, and that's another thing that's not gonna end as long as we got poverty, 
poor and rich, but I was gonna have gangs, well, like, drugs, and then they, like think about how like America established that in the nineties, right? Yeah, I ain't gonna hate on NWA and all that stuff, but like come on though, dog. Like we were promoting that shit at one point because everyone was tired of being white. Everyone was tired of being normal and shit. Motherfuckers Hold started venturing. What you mean tired of being white? It, it, it was, we can't be white. Nah, 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 white. nah. My bad. <laughs> to be tired like, of being white. They was like, I mean, they was tired of being oppressed. You know no, because no, because I don't mean what them. Mean? I mean the whites were tired of being white. That like, everything. I, I, what I mean by that they, is like, they, like take from the culture, from different cultures. Is that what nah, you're well, yeah, the hell you take from yeah. this culture. I'm talking about that period in time mm. where America decided to make African Americans like you know like. <clears throat> fucking put them on the TV and all that. I'm talking about that. Oh, when they started, when they started. To and excuse me, cool. excuse me to say, I, I want to make it straight that when I hate saying I'm African American. I like to say black, just like motherfuckers say Mexican. You know, let's keep it. Hey, you know, that's hey, good. I, I feel like, no, it's I feel like, it's, I feel like it's like, it's like, why should we say a whole other? You know? Hey, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's just. <laughs> You know what I mean? As long as you ain't saying the N word. It's... <laughs> nah, brother. Hey, I'm... you're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. You're good. So nah, you're nah, good. Nah, you're nah, just... But um, fuck that. Fuck Devin. Yeah. I don't say <laughs> the N word. Well, I never know. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um. So basically, what's what can we expect? What's next? For, like, what's next? Like, what's is next there another mirror? Like, what is? What are you up to? What are you going to do next? Like, well, I always like to say my art knows where I'm going next, you know, mm -hmm. but because like the portfolio just speaks to you, man, whether you're an artist or whatever, you know, do the camera thing, you do the rap thing, your 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 portfolio is going to speak on it. And right now we, we are living the most like important, like, you know, generations of all, bro, where social media and all that is at anyone's advantage. Damn. Like motherfuckers getting rich off of, or not even rich, but like doing their thing on fucking um, social media, you know? Yeah. And definitely you making know, so money on social media. As of right now, I'm just working on, you know, letting that run and I always get commissions, man. Mm, Whatever it may be. That's good. Right, and that's there's good. always something to work on next and I'm very blessed to have that. But also at the same time, bro, I've worked hard like yeah. to get at least to this position where I can, you know, do my art mm. and, and progress, you let know. Me, so let me ask you like a deep question. What would be like, yo, I made it as an artist. What is that staple like, yo, I'm I, this is the dream. Mm. I fucking did it. You know, like yeah. for example, like a rapper. You know, they get their first deal, or they, you know, they make yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. What would it be like, yo? I did it. Well, to be honest with you, bro, I felt that already when I did the North Forest meal, mm. and I'm very blessed to have everyone that helped me out there. Yeah. But uh, I feel like the when I really when I really feel like I made it is gonna be that gallery sense because that's what I worked on, gotcha. bro. Like I've taken a pause on street art and doing graffiti, and both you motherfuckers know I was in that shit yeah. deep, bro. Yeah. I was doing my motherfucking we, we used thing to go out. that shit. Hey, you wanna do it right? You started at two a.m., bro. Life you do your real. fucking thing, For you real. know. And it's just that shit that you get love with, bro. That adrenaline and everything. But anyway, so mm. man, you know. Just trying to fucking um, that gallery shit. That's yeah, that's bro. The pinnacle. Like yeah, that's my like, pinnacle because I've worked hard for it. Staying in my fucking studio at all times. Whenever I felt right of doing something is when I created something like on the canvas that was big. It mm. was meaningful. I have sketchbooks this high. I'm still trying to get back to that have everything that I need to put on bigger camps. You know those big yeah. canvases I have the dude holding fruit ball. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, those yeah. type of canvases. Oh, right? Okay, okay, so yeah, yeah. when what's the dude with the golden sombrero? Was sick with that sombrero? Oh, with the the skeleton. Is it oh, no. a skeleton? No, yeah. it's like a. I think, it's, I think it was. Is it a skeleton? I think so. With the little house on the top and shit. Nah, it's blue? Nah, nah, I think it's a dude singing or something with a golden sombrero. I don't know. Oh, Vicente. Yeah, it's all black, right? Black yeah. and gray. Yeah. Yeah, Vicente Fernandez. Yeah, and I oh, did that, that to my one. step pop, bro. bro that, that, I that one is fire. Eighteen by twenty-four. That was dope. All oil. That was like one of my first oil paint portraits, bro. You did a Nipsey wall. I did. I seen. Hey, that one right there, bro. That one was fire. Me. Hey, shout out to my boy AB up in uh, uh, Fremont or Hayward, yeah. excuse me, bro. He right off the fucking bridge, and dude, that was the funnest project I did, bro. That was dope. You even do like the 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 self portrait because you did one for Darvell. You did one for him with like it was like a baby picture, and that was way back. That and that one actually that came out dope, bro. Like, you was like, hey, bro. At the time, what I knew, I, I that thought was it was fire. dope. That was yeah. fire. Like it was, that was cool. You know, it was fire. That's, that's, you had talent from the start. Hey, right on, hey sir, do you try to hit this blunt though? Nah, man. Nah, it's cool. Yeah, you know me. But yeah, man. So the North Farrell's mural, though, it was dope, and and man, we made it. I made it happen. That shout out to Arthur Koch. He was the guy who signed up um, to help me out and mentor me through my first mural. You know, yeah. so shout out to him. And um, I saw like pe weren't people helping you too? Like, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, like that's shout cool. out to Tito Chase Love. Like, we had a whole like, little like day right there. People yeah. came through, mm -hmm. but I always pro I always promoted it throughout the process. Be like, hey, y'all want to come through and paint? Right. Help me out. I got eighty feet wide, twenty feet tall. 
Yeah. Like, that's fat. Yeah. And when I was on the scissors lift, like this, dog. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of heights, bro. And that's uh, one thing I learned yeah. from graffiti and doing billboards, dog. Like, when you up there. You up there. Damn, you want to yeah. be you want to be sick? Go ahead, little bitch. And I felt like a fucking, damn, bro. I was like, oh, shit. Like, hella scared, <laughs> scared bro. Don't look down. Don't, don't look down. Don't look down. I couldn't even believe how we got up there, dog. It was See, crazy. I was like, My ass would never do that. Don't look down. I saw athleticism, but I, I can't draw. Right Two, I'm scared of heights. We used to be up there. Please, the one rule, do not look down. <laughs> do not look down, <laughs> Castro. Yeah. Tell me, go through the process of making a mural. Sure. Uh, so, basically, it starts out by... You're designing your your picture, right? You want to make it wide, make it wide. Like, try to be, try to. Like, the important thing is to message your yes. a message. Excuse me. <laughs> measure your wall first, right? You measure your wall. You put that in the computer, like by feet by feet. Then you start, you know, you do um, your design. You now you know what you got. Now now you know what you're working with, right? Whatever you get a sense. You draw it on paper. Size. Do your little sketch. Okay, after that, a lot of people like to get some tracing paper and then do a second draft. I like to start the fuck all over at all times. I never like trace nothing. No, no, no. We doing it again. Fuck it. Like one of those movies, you mm. know, those fucking uh, Italian movies. Nah, do it again. Some mm. shit. Anyway, um, so back to the second draft, you know, it's going to take you probably four or five drafts. I fucked up there because I should have been using some tracing paper. <laughs> 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 anyway, so... Uh, and then uh, right there, bro, you figure out your final. You figure out your final, it goes for approval. Whatever it is, you know, mm -hmm. you show the the market owner and whatever you're doing in uniform. Like and uh, you get accepted, you go right there. So now you take the Photoshop, you got it sketched out, right? Whatever you want on, on preview, all those apps, uh, Illustrator, whatever. And then you take the Photoshop, you grid it out. You do the exact dimensions that you measure out from the front. This is where it helps out. You put on Photoshop and then you you decide your squares and you do mm. the squares and you make grid lines on the wall Ooh, and those okay. grid lines will match those exact dimensions on photoshop but so, you know but you need to do your measurements right at the start you need to measure your fucking wall yeah. completely dog yeah. no if feet by feet get an idea where you yeah. whether you're working 10 feet or five feet right because this is 80 feet wide bro right so i was like damn i thought I, I was at 50 feet thinking it was done <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta do yeah, your measurements see? you know and it's just a process right that's so, some shit that you nobody. That's the like I mean, everyday shit to know. Hey man, and sure hey, put that game up. in your pocket. You're an artist. <laughs> Whoever's watching this, bro, and this, this For real, it is it's a straight game right now. He's and like, and, not, and I feel great sharing my info, bro. I could be selling this, I guess, bro. <laughs> I never thought of it like that, bro. I pretty explained. I explained it pretty well. So, anyways, there you go, bro. Free hey, game. That's free you know, game. That's organic for y'all. <laughs> anyways, uh, so then okay, boom. You got your squares. Then you go grid that. You you have your wall your wall gridded with the squares and everything. Time to draw, bro. Every square, match it. You, go, you, got, you, go you got square three squares, square. three squares at the bottom. Boom. There's gonna on your paper, those three squares and everything, everything that's in that square, draw yeah, that shit up exactly there. Right. Oh, and that's so how you, you get really circles and, oh, and everything else you Like I did a barbecue logo right there on Middle Field. It's called Capello's Barbecue. You got your fuck. Oh, with no, it, I fuck with that place. Oh, you yeah, fuck with that place? Hella hey, good, bro. Hella hella good, bro. Good. It is open from eleven to eleven, uh, excuse me. Eleven to two Wednesday through Saturday. Uh, yeah, it's nah, a, you can go. Well, they, you they can go in the truck, shop. They, they have, have outside truck, yeah, outside seating too. Oh, they got okay. tables and shit. And you go get your plates, like twenty two dollars for three meats. You know, like oh, that, Gucci, that Gucci stuff. Bro, hey, 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 hey. 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 hold hey. 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 and a good check, come on, man. I know twenty two dollars. For three meats. Hold up, I'm about to say, I'm about to say some shit, man. Hey, you get your macaroni, your your cornbread muffin, everything. You got. 110% right. pause what I'm about to yo, say. Yo, yo. But the hot links is fire, bro. Thank you, bro. I'm not, right. they're fire as shit. And right. that's pause on everything, all bro. Right. All right, all right. All right. The, I got the hot links, the ribs, and I think I got some brisket. The brisket is fire, too, bro. bro. This flagrant <laughs> is just being thrown around, bro. I don't get no... <laughs> I don't get, I don't get, hey, the, bro, I don't get just, a shot and the ball back, bro. bro like, you ain't getting shit. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, man. Playing, go man. ahead, go ahead, though. Fuck go that pause. Yeah, <laughs> shit, pause man, playing. You said you had like what? So you went to the shop, they had like three meats for $22. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man, no. I, this is what I just learned from asking <laughs> the manager, dog. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> That's what you hey, got. Hey, you hey. made the logo. That was cool. No, yeah, that, nah, so on the logo, hold on. Logo. So on the logo, <laughs> on the logo. <laughs> they got three, the logo? three meats. See, I wasn't even they going They got three meats on oh, the logo. Pause, fam. Get your mind out right. the gutter. All right. 
Gotta relax. Hey. I thought you gotta relax. I was just gonna <laughs> say what was on the logo. That's all I was. No, talking. no, no. I was I was talking about the logo because I was I was referencing that um, talking about like putting everything into a square. Okay. Right, so you gonna match that circle, and in that fucking uh, project, I use that grid system. Okay, and that's how I was able to get that oval. If you got when you got if you got see it, whatever, uh, right? Definitely. I'm um, go. <laughs> go. Hey, yo! I heard y'all got three meats here. <laughs> and from two sides. Hold the sides. Yo, <laughs> that's I thought. That yo, mean, hey. I thought oh, you were gonna go. I'm dead. Yo. <laughs> I heard y'all got three meats. I'm out, fam. Yo, oh bro. man, y'all got me dead, bro. I don't bro. want you to hold no sides, <laughs> no, none of my sides, and I don't want three meats. Pause, nigga. Don't don't say that, nigga. <laughs> hold the sides. Out. Don't hold, nah, don't hold the hold. sides, dog. Don't hold my sides. <laughs> <laughs> bro, all right, let it go, bro. So you want extra macaroni? <laughs> macaroni? <laughs> Shit, I'll be in there. Anyway, right. hey, man, so back to the Wait, wait, let me throw a curveball. Oh, curve go, 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 So you ever done, like, animation? Like, how, how does it correlate from, like, art? To animation, like, is it one and the same, or is it like a little? It's, is a different like trick yeah. to it, or like what? What's to be honest, me, too. my ass, I, that should look the same to me. But that that's somebody who's not. Yeah, no, 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 for sure, shit. for sure. Animation is a whole nother deal in in the art realm. Just the same way tattooing mm. is. Yeah, you yeah. could pursue whatever you want, right? Yeah. Okay, but yeah. that's just a whole nother level that you animation, know. Animation, bro. Animation, like. Dude, animation is so fucking is, sick, and I thought about doing it, but I can't be as repetitive with my art, dog. Like, yeah. and that's one thing I learned from being hella expressive, like growing up and shit, yeah. and like having my mind in fucking three hundred different areas, you know. Yeah. And asking myself hella questions, not being able to deal with that shit. Oh, I, I can I can tell by the way the conversation be going. <laughs> yeah, shit. Damn, be like, you be playing with me, cause. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, <man. laughs> I know. So what was the question? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, uh, yeah, yeah. nah just playing. But uh, back to it. Animation. Though. Yeah, animation. Yeah, animation, man. That shit. See. Hey. That <laughs> See? Hey. Uh. Yeah. Anyways, man. Again, that's another art form, art realm, and all that. You know that you can pursue. Is but... it is it easy for somebody who's just basically into art to go into animation? You know, like just for example, you know, follow up another question is like, okay, mm -hmm. like if you're an artist, can you tattoo? If, you know yeah is it easy or is it yeah i mean honestly it's so and so but i mean you just every artist is different dog like oh, okay. there's just so many like gotcha. you don't know how to read another person's mind mm. yeah. right but if they're making some good product well by all means like fuck, i yeah. call that someone like that like kanye like he doesn't know what the fuck he can produce oh, kanye. and he's on some other kanye. shit like anyways bro y'all heard this song y'all heard this song segue into it segue into it y'all heard this song go ahead so say something about it conway 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 did drop uh nah damn y'all heard this song y'all heard this song come on y'all heard it what song the, the one I showed you the night. Oh. Nah, nah, nah. You want know, well, to hold on? I, I can't lie, bro. That, that, that shit got a to me, that shit was, to it. Pause. To me, that shit was ass, and I'm a Kanye fan. Right. I didn't even hear you, you bro. You said it was ass? That shit was ass. <laughs> the beat was hard, but that shit was ass, bro. bro. you a hater. That's all that sound like. <laughs> I'm a hater. I, I, I'm I, a hater. You are a hater. Nah. Hey, what do you when, when did it release? When did it release? The it released, I don't know. Like, he showed me like what the other day. Yeah, like, I showed you yes, uh, two days ago. Yeah. So when but, did it, uh, release? it released like on Thursday or Wednesday or something. I don't even. But it, it's it base it just hit yeah. iTunes. I want to say either today or yesterday. <laughs> but it was on Twitter. He dropped it with some random video, and it's him being that political bullshit. You know, he ain't really gonna go anywhere with that. But oh, you know, you De Devin voting for Hell no. The fuck! I swear to God. <laughs> Uh, t I, all these little youngins. Oh, can you vote? You had to vote for Kanye. Like, bro, what the fuck? Hey, if you vote for Kanye and he wins, just let you know, the first lady was on my <laughs> sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first one. The first one was. <laughs> yo, she like, was. I'm just like, hey, no. and, if, and if I'm Ray J, I'm like, yo, you see that? I tell my kids, like, hey, you I see that right it, there? I I'm going to the White House and be like, hey, you I see that? I hate it. It first. That's all you're going to say. Just, I, you might as well just slap no, that song. What I'm saying is, as soon, soon as they win, they celebration song, Ray J just come out. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I, hate I ain't going to say shit, but I, I would just tell my kids, hey, you see that? Go to the White House and be like, you see her? I got a video. I'm gonna show you. I don't care what the fuck your mom says. 
Oh, for real? That's what I'm doing. Nah. He that's Ray J just. What? If he went if if Kanye becomes president. Oh and you know Ray J. Oh, you really he, seen that movie that video? What? Yeah, what the fuck? Who hasn't seen that? I mean I've seen it, but the way you like I yeah, what the I fuck y'all talking about? See? You're talking about the whole uh Kim Kardashian and Ray J. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, but like the video though. Yeah. You haven't seen the video? No. For real? <laughs> what video? They had a sex tape. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your ass up, nigga. Yeah. You know you didn't see that video. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga. Oh, Back to the mural. Back yeah. to the mural. The, square, the squares? Oh, what, what they call that? The, uh, what? The, what do you call it? The abbreviation of that? A mural? What do you mean? The, the process? The, no, like the, the mural. What's the name of the mural? Oh, North Alex mural. <clears throat> So you just go. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So so back, back to, to North, back yeah. to North Fellows murals, right? So, so once the you NFL, got it all up the, the NFL wall, mural. NFL mural. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that's a, that's abbreviation. Come on, I can't hate on it. Damn. But well, hold on. Mm. This take. Just want to get a quick segue. <laughs> this week <laughs> <laughs> was sponsored by Chillville. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure y'all holla at them, bro. This shit got this nigga lit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, but definitely. Holla at my niggas at Chillville. Look at my they got the cherry bomb. <laughs> they got it all, bro. My boy, they got Bobby. shorts. <laughs> hey, what, is what is this, Sativa? Is this Sativa? I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, that's just definitely Sativa. Real. I'm my head cut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Mommy a... double fisted right now. Damn, right but that's just dope, what? bro. Mommy? Mommy got it on him. If you need a pack, hit my beat. <laughs> Make sure y'all hit my beat. Oh pack. my god! Yeah, but yeah go ahead though. My fault. Nah, uh, yeah. So once you have, one, yeah, exactly. But once once you have it on the wall, you know, and you do your little grid and you sketch it up on there, then you paint it, bro. And once you paint it, then you have it all done. And like, how many coats though? Like three for sure. Three, three bro. Mm-hmm. You guys paint that shit three times, and it was up and down. But it's cool. I mean, that was the best part of it, dude, getting it down. My favorite part, though, was sketching on the wall, though. Mm-hmm. I, I've been about sketching and doing the ink thing from mm-hmm. the anime and the Dragon Ball Z back in the day. Mm-hmm. And I've been, I love doing that. But once you paint it up, boom, got it on there. And just, shit, man, promote it. Get it out there and do your best, you know? Mm-hmm. And it was a great opportunity, bro. So shout out to everyone that was involved. That's and dope, my experience, man. like, you That's know, you, going man. through, like, paperwork and, like, you know, contracts and all that. So that was crazy. Mm-hmm. So yeah, bro. So you got to go through the whole die, legal what? side. Say again? Does the government own you till you die or what? <sighs> when oh, you God. actually wait, when you put your name on a paper like that, dog, you're owned, bro. Oh, it's wait, crazy. Like, do you? you I like that's you like get no money off of it, right? It was just no, no, for sure. I can't say the total amount, but like, oh, yeah, I mean, it was. It, what you mean? Oh, bad. Bad. I, I, I ain't trying to be the feds over here. My bad. No, no. What the fuck is that? Ask no questions like that. First of all, but what you mean? You need just waste a lot of time on that. You think he ain't gonna get a profit? Yeah, no. Like, I mean, you might. <laughs> you might want to do that. The kind not, of not not even wasted a lot of time. My fault. That was a bad, bad vocabulary. Yeah. He invested a lot of time. Yeah, but I'm just saying. You, I mean, like <laughs> yeah. you, you know, some people just do it for the fuck of it. But nah, for sure. No, nah, I mean something that big that you're gonna put yourself out there for. It definitely is gonna talk and like you know you're gonna yeah. have to just walk it, bro. Like you know once once the opportunity's there. Hey, history repeats more. itself, opportunities don't. So every opportunity you get, you gotta yeah. knock on it because it could be the winner, bro. Uh, all best. times. You gotta be open, flexible, like complex with your own lifestyle and like whatever you're gonna pursue yeah. yourself with. That's another game for y'all. Mm-hmm. You just gotta do it, man. Breathe, live and breathe it every day. Wake up, be, try to be that person, man. work on your craft and, and everything, right? So, anyway, so right now, like what I'm leading into, like that was my biggest mural, right? So, my commissions and like my other little side murals, like the Nipsey Hubs that you mm-hmm. saw, mm-hmm. like that was dope, bro. And that mm-hmm. gets me, like, you know, some respect, some love, and, right. you know, in different other um, neighborhoods and stuff from other different other bosses. Right. Yeah, like, y'all boss right, right here with this podcast. So, you know, I gotta go tap in with another boss who got his stuff going on. Right. And that happened to be my boy AB, you know, mm-hmm. Barber, like that month. Nah, dude, he's so young. He's like 25, something like that. He's. Mm. Got a sixty, he got a sixty-three Impala, bro. Low rider, like Ooh, low rider, barber cutting. You know what I'm saying? Dang, just doing his thing. As up. that peep game, my boy. If you guys need cuts, hey, he does everything, bro. Tap in with my boy. I need a cut, bro. Oh, hey, bro, tap in with him. That's why I got the simplicity and company hat. Make sure y'all cop that. There you that. go, dude. Hey, <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah, 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 go anytime you get a chance, because because I need a haircut right now. So so simplicity, simplicity and company got your head covered. So if you need a beanie, if you need a beanie, or if you need it. 
Fresh Rick and Douglas t shirt. <laughs> Just make sure you holler at us. Hey, what kind of jeans you wearing? Huh? What kind of jeans? Hey, don't worry about them. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> then ball jeans, cuz? You said don't be worried about my jeans, bro. Your, your name ain't genuine, Paul. This nigga. The fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, hey, bro. There's a jeans named after my name. <laughs> what? what? Which Listen one? to that genuine song. Hey, they yo. say my name. They say Sergio. Hey, yo. And there's a type of jeans. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Go, go I swear to God. Foul, bro. I swear oh, to I'm God. At the line. I'm at the line. Fuck it. Go ahead. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God. Get the fuck flagrant foul. What? Flagrant foul. I'm just saying. Out. Man, what? <laughs> so, so he said your name. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's a type of jeans. He's, Italian. He's, he he's, he said your name. Yeah. You sing, he sung your name. Yeah. Girl sing it? No. You, he sung it. I can see that shit being like some ass <laughs> like it is. So, so what oh, was the bar, God, though? Dude. What was the bar? How did we go? I bro. I know it says Sergio. Is he, how do you but go? he does it like hella high pitch, so yeah, it's kind of Go weird. ahead, do it, do it, do it. It's kind of weird. I just do it. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of weird, but yeah, it, it's, it's up there. Hey, y'all gonna be lit as <laughs> fuck, bro. God damn, y'all, so hey, say. I don't got you lit as fuck. <laughs> Chill, Bill. <Bill-Cut. laughs> I don't got you lit as fuck. Chill, Bill, cut. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hey. hey, enough of that promotion, thinking my fault. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker just spiraled. They, he just spiraled they, into the they, promotion. They, they, they owe me a whole nother eight for all of that. Hey, hey, you know, hey, you know when you watch it, hey, you know when you watching YouTube and you just randomly hit a bunch of promotions. Yo, that's yeah. Devin right now. I hate that <laughs> shit, dog. You definitely not gonna be able to click with that. <laughs> Ain't no five second, and then you are gonna click this. I hate right that there. shit. <laughs> Fucking no, YouTube, man. So now you do on, on on Snapchat, you get fucking ads, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, that's why you got to put. Bro, you on. can't do shit and you get ads, man. Hey, man, that shit like dope. I, I, like, I, I, wait, 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 wait. Let me let me drop. Social dilemma, y'all watch it? Oh, definitely. Social dilemma. Bro, yeah, go on, it's on, go on Netflix. Netflix. That shit talks that? about the algorithms of fucking marketing and all that shit. That shit. Hold is up, wild. hold up, time out, time out. He said the algorithm marketing. No, these these niggas is the same niggas that made the like button. The niggas, the CEO of Pinterest, yeah, all of these yeah, dudes yeah. just telling you how they systematically <laughs> made, the, the, made these made these platforms to a point where you have you it's addicting and they they every time you click on something or every time you're watching it, they're recording that yeah. view time. They're recording so, the view time, the way oh, your bro, eyes open so, up to it. So they controlling how you feel about certain shit. They controlling basically yeah. how you think because Everything that you view when you own that motherfucking app is what they put in. You feel me? So it's like if you hey bro, into you're saying a, too much. I hope the I hope the big ones. Don't hey bro, I don't yeah. do shit. Man. I'm just saying he might even, he gotta be. I was talking to Devin in five days. Where the fuck is he at? Damn. Hey dog. Now God bless you, cuz. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. nah, but that that's it. That's what that social yeah. dilemma part is about, bro. bro like, the crazy thing that shit. about it was. When they asked them, like, do you, your kids watch? Do your kids have social media? Like, and do you regulate time? And they're like, majority of them are like, no, my kids don't have social media. And we regulate it to like an hour a day if they have social media. I'm like, bro, bro if these motherfuckers who built even. this shit are saying, like, I regulate my mm. kids on this shit, they know something going wrong. Mm-hmm. And there's this one guy that was like, yo, I had to, he built a process and then he had to, like, not. He, he, went was his, he went He was so addicted, he had to go around, around his own the process. process that he built. Yeah, exactly. Fucking he had to insane, build bro. the process to beat the process. That yeah, he like, that shit was wild yeah. to me. That shit he was, was wild. I don't, he was like some like European dude. Like, I don't use hey, Let me tell y'all something, bro. Oh, boy, How dare y'all tell me that I'm going on some fucking tangent? We talking about this hoe. <laughs> Ain't your eye, system. God damn, we going off. <laughs> Fool, what the fuck? Hold up, my fault, my fault. Yeah, my bad. No. This is half of this, half of that. <laughs> half that. <laughs> this is episode 13. Cash, are you got anything you want to say for the people before we get them yeah, out? Yeah, definitely. Hey, y'all can catch me at Casdro, C A S S D R O, with three E's at the end, or on my R page at Recetas Anonimas, my website, www.anonymousrecipes.com. And my Instagram for the art on uh, my page for my Instagram. Oh, man. Pause. Make sure y'all shout out to Chill, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous, R-E-C-E-T-A-S-A-N-O-M-I-N-A-S. Boom. Oh, there you go. All right, but there y'all go, bro. That's Half that. Episode 13. Episode 13, man. 
<laughs> you know, and when we were going through the whole process, you know, I really started to think to myself, like, what kind of mural is it going to be, right? Well, you know what? This thing ended up turning out to be a life event. And not just for me, but for everybody, man. And let me know that this is bigger than just me.